Today I'm going to be showing you my extensive hairstyles collection. I've been a big fan for several years and I have acquired quite a lot of things, whether it's his merch or stuff I've made, so I have a big collection. Okay, now I think I have everything that I could think of. I just sat down and I saw that there was some stuff I had forgotten, so I think we're good now. I think I'm going to start with stuff I've made, I guess. We'll start from the beginning. This is the very first item I made. It is a fine line inspired sweater vest with hairstyles on the back. I made this for Love on Tour 2021 and you can kind of see my full outfit underneath. I had this pink shirt and then white pants which were kind of inspired by the fine line outfit. This is my first item and this is what really got me into creating my own items inspired by him because it was really fun to make. I designed everything, made it all myself, so this is the first of many. The second one I made was for my mom because she came along with me to Love on Tour 2021. So I made her this and hairstyles on the back, so she wore this one. This one was super fast to make. Also, I think I made it in like a week. The other one was a little longer because it was my first time doing real like color work knitting but I figured it out and I think it turned out great. Now I'm not sure exactly the order of these next things, so I'm just gonna pick one. I'm pretty sure this is the next one that I finished. I might have started this one after the next one I'm gonna show you, but this is the sheep sweater that Harry wore. You can kind of see the little faces. The yarn is very, very fuzzy, but I think this is really fun. I've only worn it a few times. I definitely need to wear it more, but it is a little obscure and it does look a little like clouds, so that's kind of why I don't wear it, but I do like the little sheepies. They're fun. Next is the iconic J.W. Anderson color block cardigan. I started this before the sheep sweater, but I finished it after, so here it is. Obviously, I'm sure you guys have seen this kind of sweater before. Honestly, I don't wear this that much either, but whenever I do, I get compliments on it. It's just that I have no idea what to wear it with, and it is a little out there. I'm not used to dressing this colorful, so I definitely need to wear it more. I should. The next thing that I made was a Harry's House sweater, which I love this. This is... Mm, I think this is my favorite design that I've made. So I blocked out everything. I made this last summer, so I love this so much. Um, it, the yarn wasn't my favorite ever, but I got it super cheap. I think the total for this whole sweater was like $10, so I think it turned out great, other than maybe the yarn isn't my favorite. So, because the yarn wasn't my favorite, I made another one. <laughs> I definitely do like this one better. I think it matches the inspiration better, which was a sweater that Harry was wearing for some interviews and some promo photos for Harry's house. This one is way fuzzier. It's like mohair, but it's um, acrylic. I'd been looking for this yarn and I really wanted to use it for the first iteration of the sweater, but I could not find it anywhere. It was also that online for months. So I bought a bunch and I made this. But yeah, this is my favorite item, I think, that I've made out of all of them. I wore this one to MSG Night 5 and I wore this one to LA Night 8. The last, like, knit slash crochet item. All of these other items were knit. This is the only one that I crocheted. This is a sweater I made for my mom. It's just inspired by the J.W. Anderson cardigan. This one turned out way better. I feel like it's way more solid and nice looking. So I changed up the colors, but the pattern is obviously the same. I do really love this one. Maybe I'll make myself... One, I gave this to her for Christmas though, so it is hers, but I wanted to show you guys it because it is something that I made. So that's it for yarn crafted things that I've made. I guess we'll move on to other types of crafts. I made this little house. I got the actual house box at Target and I collected these feathers at LA Nights 8 and put them in a bag flew it home and made this out of it. I saw it on TikTok and I just thought it was the most fun idea ever to have like this little commemorative feather box. So on the top it says HSLOT and then LA Night 8 2022. 
I think this is the most recent addition to my collection. This was my graduation cap. I graduated last month and I really wanted something Harry inspired. It says graduation if you can't read it. There you go. Yeah, I love this and I got a couple compliments on it so that was fun to wear and now I'm gonna have it forever. And this is inspired by the Love on Tour 2022 alphabet soup bag. I made this using a Cricut so I cut out all of the letters in different colors and then stuck them onto some paper. It was super easy to make and I love how it turned out. I think that's it for everything that I've made. I'm sure I'm forgetting something somewhere in my house. I have other hairy stuff probably, but we can move on now to stuff that I bought that wasn't hairy merch, but is somehow related to him. I guess we'll just start out with accessories. I have these two um, paper airplane necklaces that were from when Harry and Taylor Swift were dating. I also have this bead necklace, this like giant bead necklace, which is my favorite accessory. I don't wear it very much because I, it's a little out there for me, but it's really fun to look at. I love it and it is, it just screams Harry too. So I wore this to, oh, I just, I just remembered something that I forgot to show you. I will get it in one second. I wore this to MSG Night 5 and LA Night 8. All right, I got what I forgot. It is these pants that I made that I wore both to the um, MSG concert and the LA concert. So these are inspired by the As It Was music video. So I wore these with these sweater vests. I think they're so much fun. They're really comfortable too. And yeah, they just, they were really fun to wear, especially like with this, it just was so hairy. All right, next, we'll move on to books. I have this unofficial One Direction one and only book that I found at Goodwill and I thought it was hilarious so I had to buy it. It doesn't even have like all the pages in there or anything. It's a little worn, but I find it really, really funny. There's an inscription inside from Rose C. P.S. I'm 17 now and got this book when I was like 14. OMFG, only keeping it because Harry Styles is hot, haha, ha, lol. I don't know why I wrote this. And then a smiley face. I just think that's so funny. And like looking back at them too, it's highly entertaining. So I have this book. I also have um, My Policeman with Harry on it. I have another copy of this book somewhere. I have the blue cover, which I really like, and I'm sad because I can't find it. I don't know where it went, but I do have the Harry one too. I also bought In Watermelon Sugar because it was the inspiration for the song Watermelon Sugar. I have not read it yet, but it's pretty short. I should definitely just do it. Maybe I'll read this next. I think I should. All right, I guess we're kind of moving on to like a little more official Harry stuff. Rah! I guess we should start with magazines. So which is the first one? I believe this is the first one. This is the Dazed magazine. It's got a huge section of Harry in it. If I can find it, here are some of the pictures in it. It's pretty fun to look at. This thing is huge too. It's like hefty. Next is Better Homes and Gardens. Harry's on the cover. I went out to look for this. I searched for it. I couldn't find it. So I ordered one. So I got like a subscription for it. And then I found it in the store and I bought two. So I have three now. Here's what part of the article looks like. So yeah. Uh, the last magazines I have are Rolling Stone. It was another one where I was searching, couldn't find it. I did not order this one though. I just kept looking and I ended up getting two. I really like this one. So here's what the start of the article looks like. So two of those. That is it for my magazines. Now we're just moving on to like official merch. So we're almost done. First I have the fine line vinyl. And no, I do not have a way to play it, but I like to look at it. It just sits on my shelf. I think it's pretty fun to look at. This is the Target exclusive one. So I believe it is black and white. I haven't really looked at it, but I do love looking at the pictures. They're pretty funny. I've only opened this like once, I think. Yeah, so black and white. I do not have HS1 on vinyl. I wish I did, but I don't think they sell the exclusive one at Target. 
So, fine wine. And then I also have Harry's house, of course. This is the yellow one from Target. It also has fun pictures and it came with a postcard. So I like looking through this too. This one sits over by my window next to my bed, so I see it all the time. Now we just have like official merch from the concert. I do not have any pleasing. I haven't bought any. I'm not big into like skincare or nail polish or anything, so I haven't bought any of that. I guess let's go in order of when I bought it. So this is from Love on Tour 2021. I'm sure you recognize it. The iconic bunny shirt. Here's the back. I bought this and the poster at Love on Tour 2021. Let's move on to Love on Tour 2022. So you can see the poster here. Like I said, I also have the 2021 poster. I just realized I forgot another thing that I've made. I painted this bunny design onto a vinyl on my wall, which I'll show you guys a picture of it. So the first things I bought at Love on Tour 2022 were the tote bag, which is what the grad cap was designed after. As you can see, I love this bag, but I never use it because I'm afraid I'm going to wreck it, so it hangs in my closet and I look at it all the time. I also bought the Love on Tour shirt, and then the final thing, and I think this is the last thing out of everything, is this sweatshirt. It's just Harry in his house. I've only worn this like twice because, I don't know, I love it so much and I don't want to hurt it. Um, I got this out in LA. We were out there for my birthday and for the concert and my brother just said, like, he wasn't with us, so he just said like, as your birthday gift, buy yourself some merch. So I bought myself some merch and I love it. So that's everything, I think. Like I said, I'm probably missing something somewhere, but that is the vast majority of everything. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my whole collection. Let me know if you have like a favorite item or what your favorite item is if you have your own Harry Styles collection. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye.